last January. And uh, the Huskies, though, do lead the, lead the series 23 to 8. And there's Chuck Baldwin. He drops in a three. Right there. You have to be aware where you are in the ball game, what the consequences are in a particular case. And that oh. is a three opportunity for Bato Morris. As in the glass, if possible. He's such a big body, but he knows how to use it. One of the better rebounders in the country. Morris with a three pointer. He has his first of the night. He's got the average 10 a game. Great play on the inbounds. And Strickland will finish it for James Madison. He and they try to move the ball inside. A lot of bodies will fall down. And here comes Molson with the rebound, with the uh, takeaway for the Dukes. A body, other in, and he'll score it against Telport. That time alone, they just, I love their defense. It's, it's really outstanding. Doherty tried to kick it out in the quick hands of Edwards. Edwards passing it out into the corner. Three pointer falled in. Yes! What a great play. You got to get a time. It's part of this run. So creating a lot of havoc defensively, leaving it down low. The reverse is good for Falden on a great pass coming off the hands of Terrence Edwards. Get by the bottom of the rim. Edwards with the basketball for the Dukes. Takes it the other way over to Morse. Morse launches the three quickly, and he'll can it for James Madison. Molson comes out, and Morris goes to the rim, and it tumbles on in. Amadi was there just in case that year. And the 0-3 start, that has not happened for, for the Huskies since 2010-11. Justin Amadi will start the second half with a three-pointer. Trying to get it out to Edwards, but to call Molson knocks it back away. Here comes Edwards, slides on through, and finishes the play. And on it was Edwards into the hands of Morris, it goes. Flaring it all the way to the top, and Woodson will drive it home. Wooden steps back. He's feeling it. Yes, he is. Goodness. Gets in the paint. Leaves it for Falden, who lays it in with the reverse. Falden to finish a loss by three. Molson needs some help. Gets it to Morse, and he takes the shot with the shot clock expiring. Falden skies through, gets the rebound. He'll take the three, and he'll can it. Yes, Charles Falden. Short season, looking oh, for Amadi, taps play. it in, and he has found him to get the opportunity. Edwards out to Hodge, Hodge left-handed three-pointer, good. 89-66 is our final score here as the Dukes only get back into the win column after the loss to Hofter here on Sunday. They score 89 points, that's a season high. Again.